Later in our service, we will have the joy together to see the gospel of Christ pictured before us as Kara Trevino comes to be baptized this morning. Uh, at this time, Kara comes to share a testimony of how God has worked in her life, uh, bringing, him to, bringing her to himself. Kara, come. Good morning. So I was raised in a Christian home. I grew up going to church, reading the Bible. I went to a Christian high school and so on. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful for all of this, especially now looking back. However, while I might have considered myself a Christian growing up, I would say it wasn't until my senior year of high school that the Lord granted me genuine faith. During my senior year, I took a class that had a big influence on me. In this class, we studied the Bible and other various biblical topics. The stuff I was learning wasn't technically new as I had grown up hearing it, but I began to understand things in ways I hadn't before. And by God's grace, I understood the message of the gospel more clearly than I ever had. I recall telling my teacher that I felt as though God had revealed to me the severity of it all through convicting me of my sin. I knew that none of my good works were pleasing to God on their own, and I was deservedly headed to an eternity in hell. But because of God's immense love and mercy, he sent his only son who lived a perfectly righteous life to die on the cross for those who believe in him and repent of their sins. This meant I could be spared from eternal condemnation. With this knowledge, by God's grace, I professed my faith in Christ and repented of my sins. I knew that I was forgiven and saved, since I am now deemed righteous before God only because of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. A scripture passage that was really meaningful to me during this time was Ephesians 1, verses 4 through 6, which says, Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. Today, I can claim no credit for my salvation, since God himself called me to the faith, having planned it all along in eternity past, through Christ, for his glory. I remember feeling, just as I do now, extremely grateful for the gracious gift of faith, because I know I would have no desire to choose God if he did not first choose me. This is why I want to be baptized. While I know it contributes nothing to my salvation, I want to publicly show my commitment to Christ and his people. I know I have failed at obeying this command for years, but this past year, the Spirit really convicted me of my sin and led me to repentance. That is when the Lord, in his complete sovereignty, brought me literally down the street to First Moynton, and now to this day. And I'm filled with great joy to be able to obey this command today and give God alone all the glory. Praise God. We are reminded that Christ, as our Savior, came to this earth. He lived, he died on our behalf. He was buried and then rose from the grave. And now all who come to him and place their faith in Christ and his finished work on the cross are united to him by faith. With him, we are united to his death, to his burial, and to his resurrection. And this is the joyful testimony that this morning you heard from our sister Kara. Uh, and now Kara is going to make as she is baptized. And you all, as our church family, are going to stand in, or sit, rather, in witnesses of this testimony of faith. You, you're here today witnessing what she is saying and saying, yes, amen, this is true. Praise God for this moment. Kara, come. Uh, come to be baptized. Kara, as, uh, before I baptize you, it's my joy too. let me just ask you two questions. Uh, first, are you placing your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ and his righteousness on your behalf? Yes. Amen. And are you trusting in his work and what he has accomplished and in no works of your own to, to please God? Yes. Amen. Well, then it's my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you grab my arm, in the likeness of his death, in the likeness of his resurrection.